It is February 1st, and I have a date. This is my friend Hillary Knight. He is an illustrator, an artist. He drew Eloise, the little girl that lives at the plaza. Hi, I'm H.G. Watson with Daily Extra. Today we're speaking with Matt Wolf. He's the director of It's Me, Hillary. Hi Matt, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the film. My film is about Hilary Knight, who is the illustrator of Eloise, a famous children's book that was written in the 1950s. I've watched the film, um, and it seems like you spent a lot of time with both Hilary and Lena Dunham, who I understand is one of the co-producers of the film. What was that like, having that kind of access to his life? It's interesting. Lena really came up with the idea for the film. She, Hillary reached out to her because she has an Eloise tattoo and she went over there to have coffee and found out that there was this really complicated and dramatic story behind one of her favorite classic children's books. And she developed a real friendship with Hillary and that became part of the story of this film. I first met Hillary because a friend of his told him, there's a girl, she's on TV, and she has an Eloise tattoo. We totally bonded. I feel very Eloise-y. In the film, I wanted Lena to be viewer's entryway into Hillary's world, into Hillary's life story, and then for him to take over and to, to kind of speak his truth. My impression from watching the film is that Hillary has been openly gay basically his entire life during times when that was quite difficult. And I, I was wondering what it was like for him to, to be out during those times, like if, he, if that was something he shared with you. It's funny, I really expected that the film would be a lot more about the experience of being gay kind of in the 1950s, 40s, even the 30s when Hillary was a young man. But, um, you know, that wasn't really the terms in which Hillary defined himself and his experience. And I think in a lot of sense that's a generational thing. Um, he wouldn't identify as a gay artist even though he's an openly gay man in the world. Um, and I think it's further complicated by the fact that he works in the field of children's literature. And for so long, I, I don't think the, the identity of being gay would have been kind of perceived as relevant or um, appropriate in that field. He's done so many other things. He's done New Yorker covers. He's written his own children's books. In some ways, he reminded me of someone like John Waters, who like has all these different experiences, has filled his house with interesting art and things like that. Was there anything that surprised you about him in shooting this film? I mean, I think what surprises me is his randy sense of humor and just how adult and inappropriate that he can be and what, he, what appeals to him and what's so funny, and also how gay his sensibility is. All those things I wouldn't have picked up on just by looking at Ella but when I get, got the fuller picture and saw how he decorates his house, the movies that he obsessively um, watches and the kind of posters that he's created for Broadway shows, I realized that there was this bigger picture of a very adult kind of figure who has made this enduring kind of child icon. Eloise, like you said, is an icon. She has a huge following. How have people reacted to this film? Has there been a lot of excitement amongst Eloise fans? Yeah, I think there's a diehard group of Eloise fans out there in the world that are not an insignificant group of people. I would call them the kind of unruly girls of the world and some gay boys too. And, um, you know, I think Lena is a good kind of ambassador for the Eloise superfan community. And um, they, very few of them know about the complicated backstory behind their favorite book. Thank you Great. so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hillary's work has had a more lasting impact on me than anything else.